I'm Jessica Dahlcourt for CNET giving you your first look at the Nokia 808 PureView phone. This is an unlocked phone, but it is available from Amazon in the U.S. It'll cost you about $700. Now, why would anybody want to spend $700 on this phone? Well, the big draw is the camera. It can technically take photos up to 41 megapixels, but most of the time you're really going to resolve your pictures in 5 megapixels or 8 megapixels and then use the fancy zooming and that's how you get your 41 megapixels of information. So suffice it to say that the pictures on here are pretty amazing and this is a very unique phone with a very unique camera. There are also some more creative modes on here for the more serious photographer. So you can do a lot with this phone in terms of the camera. Now what about beyond the camera? Well, there is the body of the phone, of course, the design. Uh, the camera does take up a lot of space, mostly because the lens on here is actually physically much larger than you would find on your regular 5 megapixel or 8 megapixel camera. And that's what gives the camera its edge. However, it does also add a really big bump. So the phone feels pretty balanced in the hand. It is a little bit heavier, but this is definitely not slipping into pockets very easily. The phone comes in this white color, which I pretty much like, and it's got a four inch screen on it. Not too small by most standards. However, I did find the typing on the virtual keyboard very cramped, and that could just be the style of the keyboard. It runs Symbian Bell as its operating system, and if you are familiar with Symbian, then you'll find that this will be a little bit of a bump up from the previous version. If you're not familiar with Symbian OS, it's going to offer you a little bit of a learning curve. I didn't think it's very hard, but if you're coming from another smartphone operating system and you're using this, it will definitely take some time to relearn what goes where and how everything operates. There are two external features I'm going to call out. The first is this dedicated HDMI out port, which makes it really easy to plug into your TV. The second is that the camera does turn into a very bright flashlight when you pull and hold down on the screen unlock button on the side. Nokia has always been ahead of the curve with NFC. There is NFC on the 808 PureView, so you can do anything from, yes, mobile payments, but you can also tap to pair to Bluetooth devices and various other things. There are 16 gigabytes of storage here on this phone, so that's pretty good. There's also an expandable memory slot so that you can add more. Most people, I think, will be interested in the PureView because of the camera, and it is quite unique. But unless you're a Symbian diehard, and unless you have $700 laying around for an unlocked phone on an operating system that you're not familiar with, then I would skip this one. It is a pricey, but very fascinating experiment. I'm Jessica Dahlcourt for CNET. This is the Nokia 808 PureView.